His close relatives are the guinea pig and the bunny rabbit. But imagine a guinea pig weighing 150 pounds. Meet the capybara, one of the world's most peculiar pets. In fact, it is the world's largest rodent. The capybara can weigh anywhere from 60 to 150 pounds. So actually, they look like a giant, huge dog. I mean, massive, as big as some people. And it's basically a rat-type animal. This gregarious creature is a native of South America. It's important that these web-toed wonders have a water source nearby because they love to swim. In fact, they love to do everything in the water. They eat, procreate, and even sleep underwater with just their noses popping out. Capybara has a Latin name of hydrocheris, which means water pig. That's one reason they've been used as a food source for centuries. When Catholics were prohibited from eating meat on Friday, the conquistadors petitioned the Vatican to declare the capybara fair game on Fridays. Can we call it a fish? And they said, the Pope said, yeah, it's a fish. Today, capybaras are kept in homes by adventurous pet owners. This is a very special and unique animal which only certain people should consider having as a pet because of its special care requirements. A physical feature to be wary of is the cappy's teeth, which constantly grow. And they love to use them, which means they'll chew everything. Electric cords, furniture, small appliances. So one of the most important things in regards to their care is to make sure that you give them something to chew on almost constantly so that their incisors get worn down. Another way to identify a capybara is by their powerful hind legs. They hop more than walk. They're really sort of a hopping creature, but they can run really fast. And they swim fast, too, thanks to those duck-like feet. They have four toes in the front and three in the back, just like guinea pigs. They differ from guinea pigs in a couple of ways. For one, they only come in one color, dark brown. And forget about a little cage. These giants will take over your house. The capybara is a herding animal and cannot live alone. This means you need to provide a capybara with social stimuli. Consider getting two capybaras instead of one. They also require space and, most importantly, water. Provide them with a pond or pool to play in during the day. Most capybaras will live four to eight years. It's important to find a vet in your area who can care for an exotic pet. Capybaras are vegetarians. They will eat all kinds of fruits, vegetables, and grasses. And some even love yogurt and popsicles. But you must remember to provide your capybara with vitamin C. Finally, before you run out and adopt a capybara, make sure it's legal. Most states require exotic animal permits, and some localities require a home inspection. As for being a good pet, experts say think twice, because this large rodent has a lot of special needs. Owning an exotic pet can be rewarding, but to properly care for a capybara, you must provide it with social stimuli, lots of space, and a water environment. Capybaras will stay healthy, but you must provide them with something to chew on to wear down their incisors, and a vitamin C source to prevent scurvy. Cappies can be house trained using a pan of water to do their business in. You have to check your local laws and regulations if you want to adopt one. Finally, only bring capybaras into your home if you are the type of family that has the time and energy to really care for them. <laughs>